Well, first off, as you just heard, then, a Russian passenger jet's been involved in an incident in the skies above Syria. It's thought it had to maneuver around what may have been rocket fire. It was a Nordwind Airlines Airbus A320 that was returning to Russia from the Egyptian resort city of Sham al Sheikh at the time. Our reporter Lucy Kafnos has been watching developments. Lucy, this uh, story has been coming in over the last couple of hours. Tell us a bit more about what we know about what happened to that plane. Hi there. Well, of course, a lot of conflicting information, but here's what we know so far about the situation. As you mentioned, it was a Norwind Airbus A320. We know that it had landed safely in its destined uh, destination, which is the city of Kazan in one of the Russian republics. It was leaving the resort city in Egypt, as you had mentioned. What we know from officials so far here in Russia is that the jet faced some sort of danger, but it's quite unclear at the moment exactly what that was. As you had mentioned, there had been some conflicting reports about potential missiles, but that is not something that we've been able to confirm whatsoever at the moment. All we can say is there was some sort of an incident, and according to Russian officials, the pilots themselves had reported uh, seeing some sort of potential uh, military action that they felt could be a danger to the plane, and they reportedly took evasive uh, actions, but again, this has not been confirmed as of now. What we do know is that there's at least 157 passengers on board. Everyone has landed safely so far. Uh, as I mentioned, in Kazan, the former Russian Republic, there's no one, uh, it's quite unclear at the moment who or what may have caused this so-called dangerous incident. Again, a lot of misinformation out there on the internet, out there on Twitter, uh, but we do know that Russian officials have said that they're going to investigate this issue and try to get to the bottom of it. We have to keep in mind, of course, that over the past uh, more than two years now, Syria has faced uh, a rather dire state of civil war where the embattled government of President Bashar al-Assad has been grow fighting a growing insurgency. Uh, various groups of rebels who have been rebelling against the government. It's been a, a serious state of civil war with that has claimed uh, more than 70,000 lives. And, of course, heavy weapons uh, on the ground, both uh, within, of course, the military of President Bashar al-Assad and also with the rebels. There have been some reports of anti-aircraft uh, weapons in the hands of the, air, uh, the rebels, but again, it is far too soon to speculate uh, how that may tie, if it does at all, and it probably doesn't with what's going on this evening. So what we can report so far is that the passengers do seem to be safe, and we will, of course, keep you updated on all the latest as the details come in. Absolutely, yeah, but good to hear that plane got back in one piece. Good stuff. Okay, Lucy Kaffner, thanks very much.